Uh, hey everyone, so this is uh, Preeti here and I am going to explain you how to run a uh, automated test in browser stack uh, device cloud, right? So, so what is a uh, setup, initial setup I've done is I, I just logged into browser stack, that's it. And I'm going to walk you through the whole website like uh, a kind of what kind of section where you need to go and what kind of settings you need to do and all that kind of stuff right so when you log into browser stack there are different tab here automate live app live app automate so what i have done is that so so one more thing so when you log into browser stack I mean when you uh, create an account here you will be provided with the access key and this access key is something like you don't uh, you may not want to reveal it to someone else so this is like quite specific to your account right and then there uh, there is seen this section called parallel thread it is showing running 0 out of 10 that means that at a time simultaneously you can execute 10 uh, 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 you know uh, scripts on 10 different device okay so it is something like that or maybe I can say in the browser stack cloud you can utilize their 10 device and uh, uh, run your script parallelly on them right so this is what it is so let me go quickly to app automate section So here you go here uh, you can see there are three options here so I might want to go to Appium section and uh, what in all that is showing okay so first of all what we need to do we know we need to upload see the uh, so the process they are introducing is very easy here I, I almost did a POC on Sauce Lab, Copyton, Perfecto Mobile and there are a lot of like 6 to 7 device cloud I have used but I found this browser stack to be very very you know very easy it is. So what you can do is you first need to upload your app. So either you can use curl for that I mean from terminal you can trigger a curl command okay so I might want to maybe in the next uh, next session I can show you how to upload your app through curl so that is one process and very another very easy process is you just need to browse to your IPA or maybe APK and then upload here so once you are done with that you just need to select a device or maybe Google Pixel 3 is the default one and in your script what you have to do this is a very important step in your script when you write your first Appium uh, test so in the capability section you have to provide these two capabilities okay one is this device and another one is OS version so once you are done with that see these guys have also provided you a sample script here okay so what you can do for getting started you can just copy this and you can write a uh, uh, a new Java class and you can get started right so similarly what I have done here is this is my username this is my access key and uh, from there only I have set all these things I have copied from there and I have added so what basically it is like as usual you have to create a desired cap uh, object then uh, desired capabilities object right and then there are certain capability that you have to set device OS version project build so these are all specific to your project right then name and then app there is something called app capability so what happens is when you upload your APK or your build here they will provide you that path okay and that path will be automatically written here see so all every build that you upload to the browser stack cloud has one app id so that app id it will provide here once you upload your uh, application here it will automatically come here so you can copy the same thing here right and uh, url would be it is since appium is running on browser stack cloud so obviously the appium uh, server url will be different this is very 
uh, you know uh, this is very simple and common to understand so the URL would be something like that https colon slash slash your username colon access key and then their Appium server where it is hosted so it is hosted at the rate hub cloud hyphen uh, hub hyphen cloud dot browser stack dot com slash wd slash hub right uh, so once you do all these things you have to create a driver out of it uh, and then you might want to write some code I mean uh, any code that automates your build and then you can quit the driver so this is one sample test